Mike, congratulations. You you won it last year and a consistent performance again today. Yeah, we couldn't have done any more today. We drove neat and tidy as fast as we could. Really committed, especially in the long run. You know, it, was, uh, it was good to get a podium. Unfortunately, it's at the expense of Ewan. And, uh, but once again, we go to the last round to fight for second with Ewan. So. Yeah, I mean, a, a, a word for you, and that, that was the, the hardest way to go out, leading the rally up until the fourth and final stage, and then you, you, it's game over. Yeah, he's been driving really well. He was uh, The last few events, he's driving really well today, so the rally was his, but uh, unfortunately that's rallying and these things happen. From your own uh, standpoint, everything go according to plan today, do you think? Yeah, cars never missed a beat. Everything's been great, so uh, you know, we couldn't have done any more, so it's just nice to be back on the podium. And uh, looking ahead to the McRae, what's your, your thoughts about that? It's just going to be the same again, isn't it? Flat out and see what happens at the end. I mean, we, we all remember last year the, the head scratch and the calculations of whether you were second, you were second, but we don't want that again. No, let's just hope it goes the other way this time. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike, well done. Thank you. Just tell us a tale of your day today. No, I've had quite a good day. Uh, first stage went okay apart from a clip to log pile. Very early on the stage and calmed me down, so you know, kind of the realism that you know you try and want to finish this rally. The second stage, no excuses, but the uh, transmission light came on and it died in power. I don't know what electrical is wrong with the car, but reset it, it's reset itself and the last two stages have been good so. Well, I've had a good day, I've had no dramas, neat and tidy most of the way, apart from hitting the log pile, but no, we've been lucky and you know, we started to chase David down there, but no, I think David would just probably go harder again, so you know, a worldly champion, he's won the rally today as well, so you know, good on him, you know, good result. And four times in a row, I mean, he's, he's local to the area, he's local yeah. to your area, I mean, you must be chuffed as well for him. Oh no, he's chuffed, he's kept it here, I and mean, we, we seem to keep this trophy and the, the prizes are down this end all the time, you know, Mike, myself and David were all from this area, so, you know, we're, we're all quite local, so, you know, the rest must be pretty in this that they're, they're not on the case, so, okay, I won't make it to
David, many, many congratulations. The only man in history to win four Scottish titles in a row. It's great. It's, it's hard to put into words, you know, to make history. Any sport you do is it's unreal, you know, and I think it's something that's going to sink in come tomorrow morning. But really, really happy. It's been a really hard year, but a really enjoyable year. You know, I must say this is maybe one of the most enjoyable years rallying I've ever had. So, you know, good competition, good stages, good people, and the result's good. So, it's a credit to the team, you know, for for preparing that car. It's done, you know, it's done a hell of a lot of work now for it to uh, for it to to be as reliable and, and get me this result. It's a credit. And I guess all suspicions you've won it effectively in your own home turf. Yeah, it's great, you know, I'm, I'm not too far away from here. Um, less than an hour and I'm home, so no, it's good. It's got a very homely feel, you know, good support, and a lot of people around here, so it's, it's great to win it here. What were the main challenges today looking at the, the rally, which of course, let's not forget, you actually won the rally. Yeah, that too, we maybe see past the rally win because we're concentrating so much on the championship, but very difficult rally, very, you know, the stages were incredible. You know, the likes of 19 miles of Glen Trool was for a driver, that's as good as you'll get. The high speed stuff was unbelievable. But, um, no, just a pleasure to come here, really enjoyable rally, and as you say, it's uh, quite local to me. So, we got through with a, with a puncture and dropped a wee bit of time there to, to make it difficult, but, no, it came good. And a word for you and a valiant effort by him. Without a doubt, you know, he showed in the space I had his pace there, so he obviously came in here and we knew he was going to be the contender, but, you know, our battle wasn't really with him, you know, to, to finish second when I had the championship, so, you know, I do feel sorry for him, without a doubt, you know, I think he deserved a win here today, but that's the way it goes. Well, well done, congratulations, history maker. Thank you very much, cheers. I'm a wee bit worried that you seem to write your pace notes in your hand. Aye, <laughs> that's just some of, the, some of the service out times and whatnot, just so that... Uh, there's too much going on, and you, you just panic sometimes and think, ah, oh, what time am I meant to be out? So it's it's there to see. This is becoming a habit, Kevin. Four in a row. You must be unbelievably happy. I had say uh, it's hard to hard to explain. It takes a while to kind of sink in, you know, but it's just absolutely chuffed about it's over the moon. We are um, just couldn't. Uh, today's been been. A funny kind of day because nobody wants to claim a rally win because of somebody else going out and that was unfortunate with Ewan but um, even by the by with that there's still there would still have been enough points there to win the championship anyway so uh, either way it's been a cracking day. But at the end of it all Kevin that, that's rallying I mean you know it could have been you. Aye that's right just as easy. I will with that puncture um, in the last three miles of Glen Trool there it, it could easily have been in the first couple of miles and um, really knackered things for us but um, no, as you say, that's rallying. So, where does this leave you then, do you think, for, for next season? Have you even had a chance to think about that? <laughs> no, no chance yet, no. No, I don't know. I hardly even know what's happening tomorrow, never mind next season. Like, but he's, uh, I, he's we'll, we'll be at the McRae still, anyway, so, in some shape or form. So. Looking forward to that. Well, many congratulations. Four time co driver, Scottish champion. Thank you very much. Cheers.